Hi Aggies, my name's Aries. My name's Emmett. And we're gonna be checking out the different taco places around the area of Davis. We'll be rating each of these taco places on a scale of one to five, basing it upon taste, value, and the overall vibe of the place. That way you know where to best visit for your Taco Tuesday. Are you ready? Let's go. First, we're headed to Taqueria El Burrito, which is located at 223 F Street in downtown Davis. They got a wide selection of tacos, burritos, quesadillas, plates, and drinks, and are conveniently located in the heart of downtown Davis. All right. Ooh. Okay, I'm not sure which is which. <laughs> so we I'm got. That's the marinated. Yeah, we got um, carnitas and el pastor. Before I take a bite into mine, I just want to break down what I got in here. We got uh, onions, uh, cilantro. All I know it's gonna be pretty spicy, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see a lot of juice in it. Come on, let's take a bite. Let's go for it. This is solid. I don't know. What do you think? I can see it on your face. It looks solid. Um, <laughs> I like this, uh, the carnitas one as well. Me personally, I need some sauce on mine. Just a little bit of, uh, you know? Mm. All right. A little bit. And of course, it always comes with salsa and chips. Always comes places. with salsa and chips. And for extra context, these tacos were also $2.95. Good value to these tacos. What would you say you would rate it like out of five? Solid 3.5. Well, maybe just because mine's, I just need a little bit more kick in mine's. But other than that, just very, very solid taco. Yeah, I, I can't complain, personally. Yeah, I'd also give it around that, like a 3.5. I might reapproach it later, like thinking about it after I've had a couple other ones because I'm very hungry right now. But for the price and what I get, and you know, this taco is very good, um, I'd honestly give it a 3.5. Make sure you grab some chips and some sauce as well. Mm hmm. Make sure you make your money's worth. Our next stop is just around the corner. We'll be going to El Patio, which is located at 200 East Street, also in the heart of downtown. El Patio has a 15% student discount in addition to having $2 street tacos both on Taco Tuesday and Thursday. So we are at El Patio. We are trying the uh, steak taco and the uh, burrilla taco. For extra context for all these places we're going to, we're getting the recommended taco that the people recommend to us. So this is the recommended one for $2.50, by the way. $2.50 a piece, right? Yes. Two fifty. And for that, you also get the onion and cilantro like uh, the previous place. However, it also comes with lime. It also comes with an extra jalapeno there. And some onions as well. So I'll be having the burrito. He'll be having the steak. Yep, yep. Cheers. Right, cheers. First off, I would just like to say, it's probably El Patio thing, but the, but the meat is kind of fatty to the point where it sticks in your teeth. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, it's, it's good, it's good, don't get me wrong. But I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. It's good, it's bring, good. Bring it's some good. floss with you, but it's good. Yeah, definitely bring <laughs> some floss with you, but you know, for 250, I mean, you can't really beat it, you know? And as said previously on Tuesday, Thursdays, they're $2. $2, yeah. I would give this a 3.5, and I would give the Taqueria's Taco a 4, because I think this is still very good, and the price range shoots it up a lot as well, but I just think, like, for me personally, the Pastor Taco, the flavor profile on that just took me away, and I should have I should have appreciated it when I was there. I'm going to give this a 3. Still a passing grade. I mean, like I said, if you go to UC Davis and you don't like three, you don't like 60% of the passing grade, you're spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> but this is fine. This is a good taco still, this is a though. Very good taco. Still um, recommended. C's and D's will still get degrees. You said it. Next up, we're headed to Guad's Taco and Beer, a favorite among students because of how close it is to the university. Guad's is at 231 Third Street, just a short walk away from the Memorial Union. They got a bunch of outdoor seating, and it's a convenient spot to meet up after class. So right here we have the uh, the marinated pork, um, and then we have the uh, the standard pork. Standard pork, yeah. Let's dig in. You ready? I'm ready for it. Well, and we got start. onions on both of ours and cilantro as well. Yes, yes. Two seventy five for these tacos here. Let's go. The first bite was just so flavorful. Same. So nice sweet. Bite. What do you think, man? I agree. Like, even though I don't have the marinated pork, the first initial bite 
that I had was instantly like so much flavor and instantly like perfect. Yeah. I, I'm willing to give it like my top score right now, which is a 4.5. Yeah. Like that is like perfect. Like I love that. Yeah, four out of five. 4.5. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll give it a final score, final score, final score. 4, point, 4.5 out of 5. There you go. I'll give it a 4.6. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That, we agreed on that one. And we're good. Now we're headed a bit out of downtown to Dos Coyotes Border Cafe. There's two locations, one in South Davis and one in North Davis, both conveniently located next to Safeways. This large, family-style restaurant is known for their shrimp tacos and burritos. So we'll be having uh, a chicken taco and a steak taco, chickens for me, and this came with uh, a lot of the works that the other ones did, the onions and the cilantro and some guac and lime and some actual chips along with the plate as well. What do you think of this place? I really like the aesthetic of this place in general. Yeah, it's very uh, Tex-Mex, uh, kind of, you know, Arizona vibe, very, you know, Southwest-esque. Hey, let's just dig into the food because let's we're not here it. to rate the place, we're here to rate the food. Let's go, guys. Let's go for it. Yes. Cheers. Uh, cheers. First impression, I'll say this much. Whereas the other um, taco places we've been to, and we're in steak or pork, it's been cooked pretty much like well done, like very, very cooked. This is more, you know, more like a chewy, like medium rare esque like bite. The tortilla is a little bit looser. Yeah, the tortilla is pretty much uncooked, um, which is. No, no disrespect, but this is, you know, pretty much like a, I want to say a lower calorie version. Go ahead first, final rating? Yeah, I take account, like, the vibe of the place. Like, the vibe of the place is exquisite. However, I do have to take into account the co cost, and uh, it was $10 for both of these. I enjoy it still, but I think I'd give it, like, a three. I think that's my, my assessment. I give it a three. What do you think? I'm generous, right? But at the same time, I gotta call it. I gotta call it down the middle how I see it. Dang, man. Two point seven, man. Two point seven five. And shout out to uh, Dos Coyotes sir. The good ambiance, but not for the price. Sir. Our last stop for today's taco run is Taqueria Guadalajara in North Davis. It's located near the Save Mart at six forty West Colville Boulevard. Taqueria Guadalajara is a local chain with three locations around Davis and Woodland. It's known for its award-winning tacos, and it has a nice casual atmosphere inside. Tacos are $2.79, which is pretty similar to a lot of other items that we've seen today. So, price range for a lot of them has been pretty good if you're on a budget. I'm not gonna lie, these tacos look similar to Guas, but I'm, tell I'm telling you, as a, as a as a former eater, I, I can probably say <laughs> this is better, but I'm not gonna, you know what? Let's just test it out, man. Let's go, let's dig in. Aries has been talking it up, yeah. so I'm gonna, I, I wanna steak? see. You guys chicken? Let's go. I got chicken, so. Cheers? Cheers, hold on. Cheers. <laughs> you know, as many tacos as we eat today, you know, like, you, you kind of you kind of get a certain vibe, you know, like a certain feel, like of how they cook it, like how the restaurant is. And with this, I'm very impressed by uh, Guadalajara. For now, I'll give it a 4.25, which is still a great grade, especially for me being as stingy eater as I am. <laughs> you know, the food critic that I am. I agree. It's like the food is very solid, and like honestly, I, I really love the vibe of the store. We like yeah. taking into account like the vibe of this place. Honestly, I gave Guats like a four point six. That's previously what I gave it, just yeah. to be a little higher. Yeah. But for here, I think I'd give this a four point five. I love the vibe, and I love the food, and everything's priced around reasonably the same. So honestly, this is a high point. I really enjoy this. You love to see it, man. Mm -hmm. So I know we were saying that we were ending this taco run with the Taqueria Guadalajara. However, we didn't think that any taco run would be complete without Taco Bell. It's a perfect spot for late night drives and YouTube mukbang takeout orders. You can't go wrong with a taco on the go. These tacos, as a matter of fact, were $3 because I got the Doritos Locos Taco Supreme and then he got the regular Taco Supreme. I got the regular Supremes. Still three bucks. Yeah, about, yeah, three bucks. So it's a little bit more, but it's not that expensive. I mean, you can get a regular taco for about to, you know, it just depends on what you're working with. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it 
it's 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 talking about. It's about it's what you expect. It's like you're getting what you expect, and that's okay. I think I'm gonna give it like a three point three. I'm gonna be technical, but I'm gonna give it that. So what do you rank? <laughs> I gave it a three. Oh okay. <laughs> I think yeah, I gave it a three. Well, I'm feeling pretty full right now, so I'd say that concludes the end of our taco run. What would you say is your favorite today, Aries? Honestly, my favorite, I will. It's a two-way tie between Guads and Guadalajara. Although I give Guads a higher rating, Guadalajara, the ambiance, the vibe, that you know, it was just, it, it was, it was cool for me. Honestly, like Guads and Guadalajara both are at the top for me, but like general vibes, honestly, and still the top for me is Guads. If I had to argue which one I enjoy, I think all of the taco places we had had merit, but. Quads would be my favorite. I'm Aries. And I'm Emmett. And stay tuned for, for all things, things Aggie. Aggie.